So check out this 2023 ATC Game Changer Pro Series. And this is gonna be the 2816. And I really have been trying to do videos on these guys for a long, long time. And I was here to do some videos on their fifth wheels, but they have already sold. They sold within probably about a week of them getting them. So that is crazy. And they're not cheap either. But let's go ahead and start off at the front here. One thing I like about ATC is they do have aluminum construction and you can see that on the front tongue here too. Now one thing I like about this travel trailer is the front storage here. And let's start on this side. And I just noticed too, this does have like an actual water spigot that you see like at a house. Never seen that on an RV before. But love the construction of these front doors. And this is a pretty big storage too. You have dual batteries and looks to be a converter or a inverter and up front too this is going to be your onan generator it's pretty much protected from the elements two 30 pound propane tanks power front jack and check out how long this front tongue is. So the reason why they do that is when you back up a travel trailer, they tend to want to overcorrect when you back them up. So having a longer front tongue does help with backing up. And I think it does tow a little bit better too personally because I have a race trailer and I extended my tongue on mine. And this is good for towing behind even class A's like if you have a diesel pusher. Now on this side, you saw this was the basically the left side of the storage. They have a ladder in here looks to be a surge protector and they do provide lights in this area too and here's the front cap design this basically does have full body paint too and let's check out what this door is so this is going to be your fuel station and check out how big the awning is i like that they give you a support here in the middle because over time these do tend to sag so they actually thought ahead and added that for you and frameless windows i'm not sure if these are dual pane and this is a pretty tall side door they're using asdell for the side walls and if you don't know asdell doesn't rot you don't have to worry about delamination because water gets in and really does take a toll like on rvs that don't have asdell and something else that this travel trailer has that's really cool is it does have spread axles and this is going to really do well with you know evenly distributing the weight so if you are putting a car or a jeep wrangler inside of here it does tow better going down the road too and it doesn't just stop there they are using goodyear tires it is going to be an st 235 80 16 and check out your capacities. This is an E-rated tire. So it's going to have 3,420 pounds of capacity at 80 PSIs. They're already filling the tires with nitrogen air. And you can kind of see that um, frame there too that is still aluminum, even all the way back here. And it looks like it has torsion axles. And check that out. Speakers on the bottom here. And it is going to be pretty much protected under here. There are some of your front jacks. I didn't show those to you, but you do have some front jacks there. And this one does have two AC units and a solar panel right there. I like how they gave this a beaver tail too. So basically on the outside, you can see that it's going kind of up like there. But on the inside, it's going down to help with like the approach angle when you bring the car into the garage. And I'm pretty sure you don't probably need them on this one, but you probably could add rollers on the back too. So if you have like a really steep driveway, that's something you will need. It looks like they're using a BAL high to spare down below too. More speakers. And then here are your rear jacks too. Those are the Lippert.
And I like how they gave you dual LED lights out back too, and they're clear. So they really do go well with the design. Now let's see, off to the side. I believe this is a vent for inside the RV when you're going on the road to kind of help with the fumes. This is where you can fill up at. And here is the 50 amp power supply. Another cable outlet. Back of your furnace. And overall, this is pretty protected from the elements too. So if you want to camp in the wintertime, this RV is pretty much set up for that. The water heater is right up here. I'm not sure how large it is, but I will put it in the video for you. And then this is where you're gonna dump from. You do have a sewer hose storage there. And all those tanks are gonna be pretty much enclosed too. So you don't have to worry about freezing. Although you would have to have some tank heater if you do plan on camping in really cold climates. This is gonna be the flush valve here. And here's another door on the side. Actually, this is just for that front storage there. Now, as far as the numbers go, I will go over these numbers at the end of this video and let you know what truck I would recommend for this trailer. But uh, the gross vehicle weight rating is gonna be 13.2. You have two axles, 6,000 pounds per. And that's pretty good for a travel trailer. And then your all-in cargo carrying capacity is gonna be 5,000. 774 pounds and I'll put the weight of this trailer dry because I don't see that it's right here All right, so let's go ahead and walk in right here Actually, I just saw something just now so Here's some of the other weights here This show you what the gross fuel weight rate and the unloaded fuel weight is so the unloaded fuel weight is gonna be 7,426 pounds not bad not bad at all so you might think you can tow this with a half ton, but when you add the weight in, things start to get really iffy. So let's start right here. So this is the control panel. So you have that Onan control right here. You can start it from inside the rig and your water heater, water pump, your lights are inside of here too. I'm not sure if the lights will come on inside of here because although it has solar, I think it might be turned off. But check out the overall design. I did mention you could probably get a car in here. You could, a smart car. This little um, countertop here will definitely take up some space. Although you might be able to, I don't think you would be able to. This is going to most likely be for toys. Yeah, this is probably for like a side by side at most, but this is still a big garage for a travel trailer and this is what i like about atc i like the design of their interiors like it looks really really nice you have some cabinets above really deep too radios right there and then this storage here is pretty deep has a amplifier for your audio system. Two burner cooktop, there's suburban, and large sink. Microwave down below, and just more storage. Pretty robust. And one more down here. And this is gonna be a Norcold refrigerator. It's gonna be 12 volt. And this is about average of what you see for travel trailers. But I love the fact that it does have a 12 volt because these cool a lot quicker. They're a lot more reliable too. Television right there. And you can see you have some speakers up there lights vent fan more storage top and bottom and this is your dining area right here 
happy jack system and then there is a bed above too you could basically use all this for bed too you probably can even use these for bedding too but let's keep on walking up front and here are the lights too. i didn't see them on my angle so you have some lights look you can dim the lights too it's really cool oh wow this is big that is pretty big for the bathroom and check this out too it's gonna be a porcelain porcelain toilet and yeah look at all the countertop space this is a really really good option if you have some toys wow and even more up top all right let's go ahead and walk back to the front bedroom okay this is surprisingly big and just take note of the windows too they give you room darkening blinds and yeah if you need to be on the road for a long time this travel trailer is definitely set up for something like that wow i would almost rather this be a wardrobe but hey i can't fold so that would be a problem for me so if you can fold that probably wouldn't be a problem for you I wish i had a little bit more money in the bank so i could buy one of these this is really cool like really, really different from what I've seen. I'm not used to seeing toy haulers like this. <laughs> that is the deepest storage I have ever seen. Wow. And this is probably the wardrobe right here. Yep. This is huge. Oh yeah, see, you have good access to your water heater, your water lines down below. Your Now that, that looks to be your water pump. That will be kind of loud in here, but yeah. This is not an RV that you live full time in. This is something you go to the racetrack with or you go off road with. And this area does have the AC unit too. USBs and power outlets on both sides. And then you have drawers. Right here. Huge counters on both sides. Basically your nightstands. But let's go ahead and take a look at the weights. And here's the truck I would recommend for this trailer. I recently did a review on this 2023 GMC Sierra. This is a 2500. It is a gas engine and it has big payload. So I'm going to use this as the example. I will show you guys the numbers in the spreadsheet, but let's hop over to ATC's website so you guys can see some of the dimensions for the trailer. If you want to see this video, I will put it at the end of this one. If you haven't had a chance yet to visit ATC's website, I would strongly recommend you go check them out because they have some great information. And I love that they give you the dimensions. Like as I mentioned, this counter here does take up some floor space, but they give you the dimensions right here. But be sure to pause it if you want to see more. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers because I'm going to put these numbers in the spreadsheet. So as you guys saw, this ATC did have a generator. So they have an estimated hitch weight without it. And then if you do have it, it's going to be 1,250 pounds. So this right out of the gate puts you in three-quarter ton, one-ton territory. Now, what I did was I took this number and I divided it into this number here, which is the base or dry weight of the trailer. And that's going to give you 17%. Now, I'm going to assume 300 pounds because this is the base model. So having that generator is going to give you an additional 300 pounds. So I figured 17% should be a good number here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers for the truck and trailer together. So the GMC Sierra numbers are here on the left, and then I have the ATCs on the right. 
Now, one thing I always do, you always have to figure out what the passengers and cargo weight is going to be. So in this scenario, I'm assuming 525 pounds, husband, wife, and some kids, cargo, that's going to give you a total of 975 pounds. Whenever I do a truck review, I do give you all the payload numbers, the GVWR, and then I show you the window sticker. That way, if you are building a truck from the factory, you have a good idea of what these numbers are going to be. So if you take 975 and take it off of this truck's payload, it'll be 2,375 pounds. So that's a good amount of payload for a three-quarter ton. So let's go ahead and show the scenario online. So most people go online, they see the hitch weight. This is a dry hitch weight, and they think, oh, I, I'm good. But unfortunately, nobody goes camping this way. And keep in mind, propane tanks and typically batteries are not included in the dry weights online. So I'm going to basically make this a little bit over 4,000 pounds over the dry weight. So 11.5, and if you multiply that by 17%, it's going to give you 1,955 pounds. Now, typically when you add toys to the garage, it should take a little bit of weight off of the tongue. But I would strongly recommend you put those toys as far forward as possible um, inside the garage. That way you don't get a very light tongue because it could get really squirrely going down the road that way. And all in all, I think that this is a great truck for this uh, scenario. 420 pounds of available payload. And... You can put a lot of stuff inside the trailer, so you could actually pick up more cargo capacity if you do that. Of course, if you're only going with you and maybe another person, this could go down too. But all in all, make sure you do your numbers and be sure to comment below if you have any questions. I almost forgot to show you the ramp door. And then here's the rear with everything open up. You most likely can turn this into a rear deck too. And I like that this has like a non-slip too. And the way you lock the gate in or unlock it, it's right down here. It's like a little hook there. And that's pretty much it. Oh, you know what? There's one last thing I want to show you. Hold on one second. Most people looking at this rig is probably concerned about tie down. So you have them on the wall on both sides, right? You also have one on left and right and in the center. And in this area here, the one in the center runs all the way to the front there. Special shout out to Paris RV in Payson, Utah. They did allow me to do this video, and if you are in the market, be sure to ask for Jessica. They do have it on sale here for $82,995.